all right guys the next video which is this is just the installation of your server so if you've already had experience already have your server you know what it means like your one server your exam server lamp server or mom server any of them that you have then you might just skip this video so this video is just about installation of one server so go to oneserver.com click on english if you understand this language they can you then you can go with it then click on download it takes you down to um this point so you download the part the type for your pc my own i'm using a windows system one server works only on windows you understand if you're mac you download mac mam server if you're on linux you download lamp server and then uh if you you can also use xam server for windows and linux at the same time so mine is 64 bits i'll download this install it after installation nothing changes you will not even see anything on your screen so to start it you have to click here uh and type one or example as the case may be and click it once and then uh there's this one in and then say yes after that nothing else happens it just starts running so for you to know that it's, that it's running you have to check this um icon here and um as long as it's green it will start from red go to yellow then green once it's green that means it's running well you understand some of you might have errors um, running it if you see any error it's telling you that there is a missing dll just copy that dll name go to google search for it find it and search how to install it in your windows pc all right outside that you're good to go so once your one server is installed uh you can only run a php project inside a specific directly so directory so click on the one server click on this ww directory and then it opens this directory in case you want to access it directly it is inside your c 164 www that's where it is so this is where uh you will create the project so for me here i'll right click and um click on git bash since i have git bash installed you don't need git bash you just need command window so hold the shift key on your keyboard once you hold the shift key right click on an empty space and then it will bring up um this um option of using a command prompt so you can see open power shell window here or open a command prompt window here whatever you see that's okay so another way to access this folder is to copy i'm just giving you different ways that might work for different people just come here and search for your cmd cmd so you can you see your command prompt you can use it i have different type different command prompts i prefer to use node.js command prompt but this one works perfectly so you click on it it opens uh so you do a cd remember that i copied this i clicked on this and copy this part so come here cd you right click so with the right click it will paste what you have you click enter cd means change directly as you can see we're now in this directory and then i can install laravel all right so now to install laravel we have to get to laravel's website so visit laravel.com visit laravel.com click on documentation it will bring you to this page so this documentation is asking you to to confirm that you have this set up in your server that your php is above 7.13 so um and just, let me just scroll up so you see the version of laravel i'm using this is the latest version of laravel as at the time of this tutorial if you're working on any previous version uh any previous version or, or future version as long as it's within five point anything it will work this tutorial will work exactly for you so here we are just to confirm you click on this click on your one server and then you start cross-checking so we're looking for our php we'll click on php click on version as you can see we're on version 7.19 and they're asking for minimum of 1.7.13 so we're good uh, they are asking for open open ssl php extension so we'll come to php extensions and just be sure that there is open ssl now uh, the thing is that by default all these things should be enabled you shouldn't have an issue i'm just showing you how to cross check in case you have an error look at this one saying um mb string must be enabled look at mb string look at this php underscore mb string is enabled you see so anyone they say tokenizer you look for it php underscore tokenizer you scroll down to you see so that is how it is um you, you don't really have to go through this because everything is enabled by default all right so but if you have any error on um, setting up your laravel then of course uh you should um cross check that all the extensions are set up all right so now everything is set up we're we going to go straight to installing laravel we have to install composer 
So look at this link. Click on this link. Oops. Um, yeah, click on the link. And then click on download. If you're using Windows, installing Composer is just as smooth as just downloading this. You download this, install it, and you're good to go. You understand? Once you install it, you need to restart your command prompt. So close this. After installing Composer, close this and then uh, restart it again. You understand? So, so that your Composer will work. I already have Composer installed, so I'm going to go back to the Laravel installation page and install Laravel. So to install Laravel, there are different ways. There's this first way, which I don't use. And uh, for if you're Mac OS, there's this way. I don't use any of these. Uh, there's this other way. I don't use it. This is the part I use. This is the way I use. So you just copy this and then copy. Go to this window. Just right click so it will paste. Once you right click, oops. Um, it's like my screen is hanging. That means I didn't copy it. So you copy, copy, right click. Good. So this last name is the name after installing Laravel. This is the name the folder Laravel will be saved in. <clears throat> so for me, I want to call it our QR code, QR code Laravel. I should call it Laravel QR code. Laravel QR code. Admin. Since we are going to build different projects, I want to call this Laravel QR code admin. Then hit enter. So I'll pause this video here. In the next video, uh, this installation must have completed. Make sure that you have your internet on. If your internet is not on, this pro this uh, step will not work. Make sure you have your internet on. And then the speed of this process depends on the speed of your internet connection. So it may last within two to 15 minutes depending on the speed of your internet connection all right thank you very much see you guys in the next video when this thing is complete all right